HQ Sports. Big, crazy, wild weekend in sports, right? But all anyone is talking about is Rob Lowe's choice of hats. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and much like Rob Lowe, I don't care who wins tonight's game of HQ Sports. I just hope you all have some good, clean fun. The stage is officially set for Super Bowl 54 in Miami, and this season of the NFL is quickly coming to a close. Ah, what are we going to do? No, don't worry. I'll be here every Monday and Wednesday night to get you through it. And there are many other sports going on that we can have some fun with. All right, tonight we are going 15 rounds of mixed sports trivia, stopping for prizes after round 7, 11, and of course 15, where our final prize will be a cash one. $1,000 is the pot tonight. That's a quick way to make a little extra something something to start your week off right. Hey, season 13 of HQ is almost to an end this week, so stock up on those points, levels, and of course, free passes. Pick up a points multiplier right now if you need that extra advantage to level up before the finale. Having those free passes on questions is kind of like being Jimmy G yesterday. You don't have to throw many passes to run up the score. That should be a life lesson for all of us. Well, before we get into our warm-up question, I got to give a big shout-out and throw some extra lives to Cynthia Swafford. Halfway through the season, we asked for Super Bowl predictions, and Cynthia nailed it with her matchup prediction. Good work, my friend. Get ready for some extra lives later tonight. See, it pays to participate, so go find us at HQ Sports and answer our questions before every single game. Today, I want to know, what was the biggest sports moment this weekend? At Rich's Abs, or Rich Sabs, whatever you prefer, says Patrick Kane, becoming the youngest American-born NHLer to reach the 1,000-point milestone. Hashtag Showtime 88. Quite a feat for the Blackhawks' lead scorer this season. At LFG Mets says watching Alex Bregman fumble through his first interview. Yeah, it was a little little shifty-eyed. The commissioner made his report. No further comment. I have a feeling that this is going to be going on for a while and that other players are going to come out. I got my popcorn ready. And at Knucklehead, CA says, it's got to be this, right? Retweeting the video of Conor Mc... Gregor defeating Donald Cerrone by means of TKO in a matter of 40 seconds. A lot of people thought he was going to lose that fight. So, yeah, I'd say this might win for the weekend. Although Raheem Mostert's performance and Green Bay's lack there of one comes in close second and third, I think. What about you? As always, thanks for playing along. It's now officially game time. Round one starts right now. Which iconic Williams has the greatest number of Grand Slam tennis titles? Serena, Vanessa, or Venus? Sports, so that should automatically rule one of these names out, although winning Miss America, like Vanessa did, is kind of a Grand Slam worthy big deal, right? But for the purpose of this question, the answer here is Serena, who is second all time. Serena is your answer. 26,007 of you getting that one right. Can anyone name right now in the chat who is number one? Maybe I'll tell you later, but I'll probably forget. So remind me. Round two. If a soccer goalie punches a shot over their own crossbar, how is the ball put back in play? Corner kick, goal kick, or throw in? If the defensive team, including the goalie, knocks the ball past their own baseline, it's a corner kick for the attacking team. Corner kick is your answer here at round number two. Wow, losing a bunch of you here. 18,488 of you are spot on with the corner kick, losing over 12,000, almost 13,000 of you here. But I'm sure a lot of you have levels. If not, jump back in with your extra lives right now. Hey, it's round three. What was the nickname given to this playoff game ending trick play? Get back to Wycheck. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got something. 30, He's got 40, something. 50, He's got 40, it. 40, He's got it. 20, 10, He's got 5, it. End zone. Touchdown, Titans. What was the nickname given to that play that you just watched? Was it the Immaculate Reception? The catch with the Music City Miracle? 
fans called this one the Immaculate Deception, claiming it was an illegal forward lateral. The year was 2000. It was the wild card game between the Titans and the Bills in Nashville, thus dubbed the Music City Miracle. Music City Miracle is the name of that play, 23,396 of you getting this one right. It even helped the Titans get to that year's Super Bowl. No such luck this year. Round four. What is the name of the series of outdoor NHL games usually played on New Year's Day? Heritage Classic, Stadium Series, Winter Classic. The Heritage Classic was the first regular season outdoor NHL game, but that was first held in November and is exclusively between Canadian teams. The Winter Classic is the series that kicks off the new year. New Year's Day, you watch either college football or the Winter Classic, or a little of both. 25,961 of you getting this one right. Hey, before we move on to round number five, Hook yourself up with some extra lives tonight. Listen, you can use multiple per game. And in HQ Sports, at least for the remainder of this season, you could use them all the way to the almost final question, to question 14. You can continue to come back into the game to the very end. So why not hook yourself up with some lives? They never expire season to season. Let's move on. Round five. Which conference was not represented in the college football playoff this year? Egg 12, Pac-12, or Big 10? None made the final, which was between the SEC and ACC, but the Big 12 sent Oklahoma to the semis, the Big 10 sent Ohio State. The Pac-12 has been the most frequently left out of the Power 5 conferences. Pac-12 is your answer. Most of you knew it. 21,671. We're two questions away. Well, rather, one and a half-ish. Yeah. From our first prize of the night is coming up round seven. Here's round six. Which linebacker spent the most seasons with a single team? Brian Erlacher, Ray Lewis, and Derek Brooks. All three fit Hall of Famers spent their whole career with one team. Derek Brooks, 1995 to 2008 with the Bucks. Erlacher, 2000 to 2012 with the Bears. But it's this mean man right here, Ray Lewis, who went 17 seasons, 1996 to 2012 with the Ravens. Ray Lewis is your answer. 10,980 of you getting this one right. Ooh, a little semi-TKO here. Listen, that's a lot of squirrel dances, over 200 of them. You can do that whoosh, dance after, am I doing it right? Something like that. You can do that dance if you get this prize question right. It's our first one of the night. Round seven, it's getting hot in here. Is the only NBA player to win both most improved player and MVP. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Steve Nash, or Steph Curry. Bam, bam. Get ready for that dance. It's coming if you got this one right. Music is ready to get queued up. When he was drafted in the middle of the first round, no one knew he'd be this. It's the Greek freak, of course. Giannis Antetokounmpo. 8,009 of you, a semi-TKO here for our first prize question of the night. You have a choice now. I'm going to offer you some coins. You could choose to take it, and that offer would be 138 coins. Choose to take it right now and end the game our first winners, or you could deny the coins and play on for the next prize. What do you think? You think you can make it to round 11 to make this choice again? Let's see who's taking these coins. 3,000 players exactly on the dot. We're taking home 138 coins. Congratulations to our first winners of the night. So many smiling faces, some babies, some dogs. Love it. Congrats to our first players of the night. For the rest of us, we're playing on. But before we do that, we're going to take a little stretch, a little reset for our seventh round stretch with season 13 almost ending. I want to know, what do you want to see more of on HQ Sports? More specific sport themes? More movie trivia? Sports movies? Or more jackpot games? It's been a while.
while until we get a jackpot. I know you love your movie. Are you going to do golf trivia? Tennis trivia? Ooh, this was a close one. But 37% of you want some jackpot games. All right, I'll tell the powers that be, and maybe we'll set something up for season 14. Round eight. Who is the last cyclist from the U.S. to still be officially considered a winner of the Tour de France? Lloyd Landis, Greg LeMond, or Lance Armstrong? I didn't see. After Lance Armstrong and Floyd Landis had a whole pile of trophies taken away for doping, you have to go all the way back to 1990 to find an American winner who held on. And fittingly, it's the one with the French name, Greg the World Lemond. Greg LeMond is your answer here at round 8, 8,245 of you cycling your way past round eight a few questions away from our next prize let's see if you can hang on round nine what franchise signed a pitcher to the record longest free agent contract red sox indians or yankees Garrett Cole's deal it's, it's, is the so second Ragi, longest ever. The longest really. was just a touch deeper. The Indians okay. signed Wayne Garland to a 10-year deal in 1976 for $2.3 million. Dollars. Whoa, our first TKO of the night here. Bam! That what one's going to hurt called? a bit. 1,985 of you knew that one. Yes, he signed for $2.3 million, which is equivalent to two Garrett Cole starts. Just a touch cheaper it? is what I meant there. <laughs> Round number 10, let's do it. Of these NHL players who last earned 50 goals and 50 assists in the same season, Connor McDavid, Sidney Crosby, or Yanni Malkin. In 2011 and 12, Evgeny Malkin had 50 no, goals like and 59 assists. Only one player, Leon Dreitseidel of the Oilers, has hit the mark since. Evgeny is who we're talking about here. Evgeny Malkin is your answer for round number 10, 3,120. Ooh, oh, that's, that's awfully close to being a TKO. Wow, wow, wow. 3,120 of you getting that one right. Listen, just in time to get back in the game if you got knocked there because our next prize question is coming up right now. So use those extra lives. Get in here with me. If you get this one right, you know, you get to make that choice of taking home some coins or playing on. Round 11. Since 2000, which of these positions has the fewest Major League Baseball home run titles? Outfield, first base, or third base? I was gonna do Outfield eight, covers see. the most players, so no surprise they've tied for the most with eight. First base also has eight. Third base arguably has six, although that does include Miguel Cabrera's two, which also had DH and first base time. But still the fewest here. Third base is your answer. 4,166 of you getting that one. Wow. I see over 2,300 of you using your extra lives. But wait, I'm making a coin offer to 4,166 players. How about 361 coins? How about that? Take a, take a minute. Mull it over. Consider it. See if you want to take the 361 coins and be our second winners of the night, or if you want to play on for the big prize. Wow. How pretty there it is. Look at that. 2,057 of you are choosing to take 361 coins. Congratulations. You are our next winners of the night. All right. Buckle up. Everyone else left in the game. We're going to 15. Round 12. In what decade did the greatest number of different teams win an NBA title? 70s, 90s, or 80s? Oh, the 90s went to four teams, but mostly I'm the Bulls. The 80s know. were a lot of Lakers, Celtics, with interruptions by the Sixers and Pix Pistons. The 70s had eight winners, two ghost teams, Bullets and Sonics, then Lakers, Blazers, Bucks, Warriors, the Celtics, and the Knicks twice. 70s is your answer here. Ooh, 
we're dwindling down here. 1,958 of you getting this one right. Three questions left to secure a win. Let's see if you could do it. Round 13. It was finally called out after the longest recorded at bat in Major League Baseball history. Mitch Moreland, Freddie Freeman, or Brandon Phillips. So many alliterative first basemen to pick from here, but it was almost exactly two years ago that Jaime Berea of the Angels flung 21 pitches at the batter's box before a fly to right field was caught, ending it for Brandon Belt of the Giants. Brandon Belt is your answer. 2,088 of you remember that moment. Okay, I like it. You had your head in the game this whole time. You got two left. Let's see if you could do it. Round 14. The basketball team is run by the first person with NCAA titles as a player, assistant coach, and head coach, Duke, Taylor, or Kansas. The first person in NCAA history with at least one title as a player, one as an assistant, and one as a head coach is Kim Mulkey. There she is, who currently runs the show for the Baylor Lady Bears. Baylor is your answer here. 1,602 of you getting that one right. Ooh, I see over 900 of you, over 1,000 of you, over 1,400 of you jumping back in the game right now. It's as quick as that. Tap on that heart. It's your absolute last chance to win because we are down to the final round. Here it comes. It's something you worked so hard for all game. The seconds are running out on the clock. You're dribbling down the court. You take that shot just as it ticks. Three, two, one. Can you sink it? Let's find out after this. Round 15. Which of these defunct NHL teams had to move the farthest to get to its new city? Quebec Nordiques, Atlanta Thrashers, or Rockford Whalers? It matters most. Quebec City is about 2,000 miles from Denver, where the former Nordiques now play. That's much farther than the distances between Hartford and Raleigh and Atlanta and Winnipeg. If you pick the Quebec Nordiques, you, my friend, are our new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations! Yeah. Breaking the dollar mark here. A dollar and 13 or 12 cents is coming your way, depending how the penny fell. Let's give a couple shout outs to who we see. Oh, I should always bring my glasses in for this. Cosrock59. Is that a pooch? Parrot? What is that? Is that some sort of animal? A cat! It's a cat! It's so far away. My eyes. Mr. Welch, I see you there. Drinking a, a bottle of something. Cheers to you, Casey Slim. Oh, a little cutie cute. DW Dimitri. A dollar twelve is coming your way as well. Congratulations, eight hundred and eighty-eight winners. Amazing, our newest HQ Sports MVPs. My odds were always on you the whole time, though. I want to make that clear. I wish we could be making some prop bets on here. You never know. I'll be back on Wednesday for our own finale of season 13 with a hidden theme. Let's see who can figure it out first. Or, you know, bang twice on a garbage can if you know the theme. Had to do it! I'm Lauren Gambino. Until next time, remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your the game. <laughs>
You okay? You should put the pizza back in the oven so it stays warm, huh? Because it looks like there might be a lot.